you're scrolling through and uh, I did send out a text alert to my Facebook uh, texting list um, for that just to let you know that I'm going to be going live here on my Facebook page uh, if you know uh, I'll have it saved on my Facebook page. You can watch later. That's totally fine. Uh, anyway, so hello. How is everybody doing? Um, if you don't know me, my name is Tracy. I craft here at Country Charm by Tracy. I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm. And um, I'm just trying to find myself here. And uh, I want to put a link in to what I'm going to be talking about today, which is, hi, hello, as you're coming in. Um, I will be sharing this over to my YouTube channel. So welcome to everyone. If you follow me on Facebook or if you follow me on YouTube, I am so grateful that you are here and part of my community. I have, you know, technology is good when it works, you know. I just want to make sure that y'all can hear me. Uh, if someone can let me know, uh, Sprinkle, thanks so much. Just if, if you can hear me, because <laughs> I just well, I do want to make sure that everybody can hear me. All right. Uh, let me see. I just want to edit this and I want to put a link in to the Boo Crew uh, because that is something that if you haven't seen that yet, um, I'm going to be talking about that today. Oops. You know, everything works good when you're like testing it. It's like, oh yeah, it's all good. And then when you go live, then, uh, then things anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, how's everybody doing on this Tuesday afternoon? Um, okay click save all right um so what i did is i put the link into the my video for the boo crew because that's what i'm going to be talking about okay good thanks kathy thank y'all so much thanks guys for sprinkling that is a free way that helps us crafters um just by um you know sharing that i know we're not supposed to say that word uh, i kind of say spread the charm and i got that from one of my sweet followers she she said that and i'm like that's brilliant i love love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, anyway, so let me get out of this, you know, do I have, I have, <laughs> I need some more space. I've outgrown the space that, that my husband allows me to have. <laughs> and I have a lot of space. I say that, um, uh, humbly and respectfully because he, I have the best. Um, uh, anyway, so I, I jokingly tell him I need a she shed. I have outgrown the house. <laughs> and so, uh, anyway, he's just, he's funny. I'm so blessed and so grateful to have such a, uh, understanding, uh, man that supports me with everything that I do. Um, hi everyone. As you come in, um, I will say I am not the best with, uh, talking and reading comments. I will go back later after the video. Like I said, I'm, sh I'm sharing this here on my Facebook page. If you're watching later, welcome. Uh, I'll go back and answer any questions that I can. I'm also going to be sharing it on my YouTube channel. So I welcome my YouTube subscribers as well. All right, guys, I just want to share um, just a, a little bit. Uh, happy September 1st. Is it official? Uh, officially pumpkin spice season? <laughs> I am not a big coffee drinker. I'm not. And so I like the smell of coffee, but I don't like the taste of it. Does I know that's a weird, um, but I, I, I do like me, uh, well, love some pumpkin spice. And so that is a treat for me when I do do, do that. Anyway, so I just want to kind of let you know, this is where you'll find me either on Facebook or on YouTube. I'm, I'm mostly posting my videos on YouTube because that's where I'm just the most familiar with. And uh, my community is growing and it is no, um, I do not take any credit. It's all 
the Lord above because he is the one who's given me these gifts and talents as well as these, as allowing me on these platforms to be able to share with so many sweet friends. So I'm so glad that y'all are here. Anyway, I have a very busy September, well actually fall season. Um, I'm going to be doing some collabs um, with some uh, YouTube friends. I'm also going to be doing some events with some Facebook friends. I will try to post, uh, you know, and share on my social medias, on my Facebook, my Instagram, my YouTube community tab. I will try to share that to kind of let y'all know. I've been using that community tab a lot more, just sharing a little bit. Anyway, I do have some product reviews that I'm going to be doing now that I'm retired from my day job. It's officially one month today, officially one month. And so I will be honest with you at the very, very beginning, I, I struggled. I struggled a lot. I, I, it was kind of like I was on a, uh, extended vacation or like a lengthy vacation, uh, you know, because after 32 and a half years of working every day, uh, or not working every day, but, you know, going to a job every day and the dedication and, and I'm just so fortunate and, uh, you know, to have had a place that I could, stay and you know for that length of time and so anyway it is it was an adjustment and and then my the my uh son and my grandson went back to school uh and so they're back they're settled everybody's good and so now i'm like ah. I think I can get used to this, <laughs> but I have been so busy uploading more to YouTube, posting more and that kind of thing. And I'm getting a lot of feedback uh, that y'all like that. So I hope that you do that. You do. Okay. Um, one thing that I do want to share, um, I went to Dollar Tree today because, um, I am going to be doing another version of the boot boo crew truck now this is um something that i did uh a couple of years ago and so many sweet friends they make it every year and uh <clears throat> anyway this is my boo crew truck and i went to dollar tree uh today because i wanted to see if i could find some more of the little shapes because two years ago when i made this um they i I couldn't find any shapes at the Dollar Tree or, you know, I didn't have any. So I just made my own shapes. And so I'll just kind of hold it up here. Um, some of you may have already seen this. Some of you, it may be new to you. I did post a link to it, how I made it in the description. I um, used two uh, Dollar Tree trucks, uh, the ha Happy Harvest, I think it was Happy Harvest, Happy Harvest truck. And, uh, 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 yes, Jessica says that she still has her Boo Crew truck. A lot of sweet friends made the, their own version. They, they sent me pictures. Um, they shared pictures in the uh, Country Charm by Tracy Crafty community, um, which is my free community, uh, you know. And so over the years, um, you know, so I'm starting to see some traction or some, you know, views on that, on this video that I did put in the description box if you want to see how I made it. Anyway, so when I was at, I went to Dollar Tree to see if I could find some of the little, the little characters, but my Dollar Tree, they didn't have any. <laughs> and so last week when I was at the Dollar Tree, I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about the Boo Crew truck and I could have gotten some. I was in uh, Houston. Well, I was in Cypress, which is on the outskirts of Houston. And uh, anyway, they had some, but I didn't pick them up. But for me, myself, um, I do have some, you know, of the little ornaments like the little ghost and stuff and that's another thing that i want to share how i how i sort mine because that's just kind of what works for me anyway so this year at the dollar tree you know they have these trucks these um these are a little bit different than the trucks that they had the, a happy is it happy harvest or happy fall i think it was happy harvest i don't have one handy um that i don't have painted on anyway but they have these trucks this year that are similar and so um i want to make another one uh and so i picked up these are the boxes and so that's why i'm sharing if if it's something that you want to make for your yourself or for your home or to sell or whatever um and that's another question that i get can i 
the person leaves a comment, can I, um, can I remake this and sell it? Absolutely. That's why I share. <laughs> God has given me these talents and, um, you know, ideas and nothing is of myself. And, and so if, if I don't want you to see it, I'm not going to put it out there. And that's very, very seldom. I, I just, that's not, that's not in my being, I guess. Um, but, if I put it out there, you are welcome to make it and resell it. Now, if you do post a picture, I mean, the kind thing to do is to say where the inspiration came from, but I know a lot of people don't do that. And um, I'm not going to say I'm perfect by that because sometimes I'm inspired because I see something or I'm scrolling through and then, you know, maybe a little bit later, a couple months or weeks or whatever. And then I want to remake it. And then I'm like, where did I see that? I know I saw it. I'm so sorry. You know, and so I have good intentions, but then it kind of like, you know, anyway, so one of my mottos is community over competition. There is enough, this world, crafting world is a big enough for all of us. And also if, if a person, if another creator is inspired by another person, give that person credit. It's not going to hurt anything. It doesn't take anything away from that creator. Anyway, we could, I'm gonna get off my soapbox now. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so I picked up another box because this is the larger candy boxes that the Dollar Tree has. They have, uh, it's like different sizes. Uh, they have like a jack-o'-lantern. They had um, a Frankenstein, I think. Anyway, so what I do is I paint these. Uh, that's what this is, like this, one of these boxes. And uh, like in the video, I share how, you know, I took two, two of the Dollar Tree trucks and I cut one of the tops off and then I painted it. I show everything in the video. So I do have that linked in the description if you want to check it out, if you haven't seen it yet. Anyway, and so then I pulled out my little ghost too. Is it she cutie? Oh my gosh, I just love it. And so guys, that's what I do. And I'm so grateful that so many sweet friends love this style of painting. And it's so funny because I will get comments to say, oh, this reminds me of the 70s, 80s toll painting. That's okay because I love this look. <laughs> anyway, you know, kind of when it's in you, it is you, it is what it is. And and anyway, so uh, my little ghost, I do have a video tutorial on that. I didn't link it, but um, it is on my channel. Oh, and that's another thing. Um, later when you're on YouTube, uh, because sometimes people will leave me a comment and say, I can't find the Boo Crew truck. On YouTube, on my main channel or anybody's main channel, and also on Facebook, there is a search page button or a search page option. And um, like on YouTube, there it looks like a little magnifying glass. And so then just type in Boo Crew Truck or Boo Crew, and it's going to pull up any videos that I have that um, has the Boo Crew Truck in it. Or if you want to say Painted Ghost, it's going to pull up anything that I have at Painted Ghost. And so that's a feature that a lot of people may not know about or may have forgotten about on YouTube or also on Facebook. Um, there is a search pay. I wish they would make it more obvious uh, or, or more available, like in your face, you know, because I'm a very visual person. Because if I have to search for something, I get irritated. <laughs> if you're like that, I don't know. Anyway, so um, I'm going to make another version of the Boo Crew truck this year. So I got a box and two trucks. And I will try my best to do a video uh, now that I have a little bit more time. But uh, it kind of is like, man, I've been so busy because I've been, you know, film uh, doing videos is a lot of work. You know, you have to film and edit and upload and and all of that stuff. And so then um, they had gotten they restocked these little boo crew. Hi, everyone that's coming in. If you're watching uh, on Facebook, if you're watching on YouTube later or, or watching later on the replay, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, anyway, so I got some more of those because I have, um, I like the cutesy Halloween. I do not like the scary, gory, bloody Halloween. Everybody has their own, uh, you know, I don't like celebrate it, but I kind of, um, I like the, the season, the fall season. Yay, September 1st. I love the fall season. Anyway, so, and then I also got um, some of these window clings. Now, I would not have 
gotten any of these window window clings, but I saw my girl, Kristen Kay. She is on YouTube. I will go back later and I will put her link. Uh, if you have not, if you do not, are you, if you're not subscribed or you don't watch her videos, I love her. And she does simple things, but they're, they're just so so good. I just love her. Anyway, so she has a video where she did crafts with these window clings, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so inspired by her. So I will link to her video um, so that you can check it out. If you're not familiar with Miss Kristen K, I tell you, she is one of my my rock stars, I tell you. Uh, anyway, so she had done some crafts, dedicate her whole video dedicated to window clings, uh, and she did crafts with it. Anyway, so I got... Um, this is one of them. All right. Yes, I love the fall season. Um, I love the all the colors of fall. It's my favorite season. Um, and I love Halloween, but I love the cute. I love the cute, like the, the cuteness. The cute, like the, the too cute to spook, you know, and the cute little pumpkin and the cute little Frankenstein and the cute little the witch and, and uh, you know, the cute little ghost, just, just the cuteness of it. It doesn't have to be bad. <laughs> anyway, back to the window cling. So I got this one and it has um, just some different patterns of, of welcome fall and thankful, um, you know, grateful, bless. Um, if you don't want to wait for me to put the link in the comments, uh, look for Kristen K window clean crafts or something on YouTube in the search and, and her channel will pull up. Anyway, here's another one that has, um, where did I get the window clean? I got these from Dollar Tree. I got them today. Today is September 1st. And so these are at Dollar Tree. And uh, so anyway, these have so many different, you know, cute, 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 cuteness. This one, look at this one. <laughs> Home is where you smell pumpkin spice. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so my thought is that I'm going to do a video uh, inspired by Kristen. I will definitely give her credit because the girl inspired me. I would not have even looked at these window clings if I would not have seen her video. Anyway, so thanks, Kristen. Uh, anyway, here's another one for fall. It, uh, you are so welcome, Donna. Uh, a little turkey and a bear. At first, I wasn't going to get this one, but then um, I saw I got this one that says, uh, just uh, get stuffed, give thanks, happy Thanksgiving, be thankful, turkey time. So I'm like, okay, I got to get the one with the turkey. <laughs> I got to get the one with the turkey. Look at all this. Oh my goodness, get stuffed. Uh, anyway, oh my goodness. I'm like, I need more hours in the day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, this one right here, um, someone, I don't know, I think it was just an accident, but they, it was kind of like messed up a little, um, but I'm crafty and I'm like, it was, it was kind of like, you can kind of see it was, uh, like the, the window clean was kind of pulled up a little bit and it was, somebody hung it up and it was like all cattywampus and, and I'm like, they didn't have another one. This was the last one. And I'm like, but that's really cute. It kind of has like that Ray Dunn font feel to it. That's, that's my thought. Anyway, so I'm like looking and I'm like, oh yeah, that's just the, the outer part. And oh yeah, oh yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, we're good. <laughs> so, you know, that it, this, all this was pulled up and I'm like, oh yeah, the, the window cling is good. It's just the frame of it is not, <laughs> but I'm not going to use that anyway. Anyway, so these window clings, if you're just coming on or just watching now, um, are from Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. And so then I did find some more of these gold frames. I love these, especially for fall. Um, this is my busy wreath season. And so um, I am going to be sharing as much as I can as far as the wreaths and stuff, because I do sell locally in my hometown. Um, I know it's just kind of what works for me right now. I don't want to get into the shipping and all of that stuff and um, you know having an Etsy shop has always been my dream but I don't know I'm in too many groups that they have um, horror stories with shipping but um, if I were to do that to start selling online um, you know Etsy would probably be the place that I would go but I would join uh, Lauren's group uh, Beautiful Mesh she is like an Etsy 
expert. And also Julie Samako from Southern Charm Wreaths. Um, she is great when it comes to Etsy. Anyway, so I'm sharing some wreaths. Um, what I can... I'm not going to guarantee that I'll share, share all of them, only because I need to get them cranked out because now is the busy time, busy season. The store wants them. Anyway, okay. So, oh, and then I wanted to share. I picked up some more of these because uh, I like these small clamps like this. I get them at the Dollar Tree, and this is what I use to hold my mesh. Um, I just share different tips and tricks. I know not everybody who watches me watches for wreaths but i pick up so many different tips and tricks from other people that when i watch wreath videos because i am not a perfect wreath maker i promise i am i am always learning stuff always learning stuff picking up i watched the video today i was i went and ran some errands so i washed my car and i went to the grocery store and stuff anyway so while i was in the car wash i watched a video from damon with deco exchange and I picked up a couple of tips and tricks from him you know i'm always picking up something new and so um that's what i want to encourage you with you know if you want to learn how to paint or if you want to learn how to hand letter if you want to learn how to make reads or make a boo crew um just like this you know never stop learning always you know, um, enhance your skills, you know, don't be too prideful to say, oh, well, I can't do it. So I'm not, I'm just not going to do it. You know, I always do it. And it, it, nothing warms my heart more when I get comments to say, because of you, I tried splatter paint or because of you, I am trying it, my hand at hand lettering or something. Guys, what you see now is years worth of work and also praying and asking God to give me the patience. I want to learn this. <laughs> And, you know, he will help us if we humble ourselves and do our part. <laughs> he will. Okay. Another thing I got from the Dollar Tree are these plates. Um, and so I wanted to um, share. This is what I use to put my paint on. And uh, these these square. And they, they look like those plates from, like, when you get vegetable, like, vegetables or... Um, <sighs> meat or something on and someone uh, in my one of my videos someone had commented and say hey i see that you reuse your foam plates um you and i'm like no i don't i promise they're new <laughs> and so these are from the dollar tree i just like this size i like the you know the rectangle part and uh they're 30 in in you know, 30 in a package and I get these from the Dollar Tree. And so I don't, re I, I guess you could recycle them if they're like from vegetables and stuff, but all I envision was meat. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> and I really, really, really don't think that, that uh, the person who left me the comment meant it that way, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I wonder did someone else think that I reuse my meat containers? No, I get them brand new from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Okay, another thing that I want to share is um, when I had posted, I forget, I had, I've been like during this month that I have been off from, from, you know, work, I've been, you know, retired from my day job. Yay. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I had been reorganizing and, um, you know, putting things together that, that, you know, haven't been and that kind of thing. And, uh, <clears throat> Anyway, so someone had asked a question and I cannot find the comment. So that's why I want to share it here. I, I can't, I try to answer comments. I, I try my very best to answer comment, either like it, give a heart, uh, say thank you, you know, answer your question as the best that I can. But sometimes Facebook doesn't show us. Sometimes YouTube is really good about showing comments, but um, Facebook, sometimes they get lost. And uh, anyway, so someone had asked, how do I store my little ornament cutouts from the Dollar Tree? And so this is how I store mine. Uh, this like this, this like this. Um, so this is Ghost. These are um, six by nine plastic bags that I already had on hand from years ago. I think I got them from Amazon. They're just six by nine plastic bags. So that's why I'm using this. But sandwich bags would work. Any kind of like quart bag. Um, you don't need 
specialty bags. These are just what I had on hand. So I'm trying to use up some of the stuff that I have on hand. And uh, anyway, what I did is I just put them in, in the bag and um, <clears throat> these are just shipping labels and so i to make it decorative you know it makes me feel better i just stamped a pink heart on i mean a pink flower on it and then i just wrote ghost and so i just have my little painting or my little ghost in here so i have one package and then these i have uh painted from probably something last year and so <clears throat> so then like here i have jack-o-lanterns you know and i just any I, this just helps me stay organized and put them back in in the in the place. And so, like I have cats and and witch hats, apples, um, pumpkins, trucks. These trucks, I think I got these from Joann's. Uh, so check Joann's craft store for little ornaments like this, little trucks. If you're in, still into the trucks, and then. Um, Let's see, leaves and acorns. And so then in this one, <laughs> I kind of have all my fall here, like the the uh, latter part of the year here. <laughs> and then I have, uh, you know, like the first part of the year here, like the spring, uh, like Valentine's and Easter. I have, you know, my hearts. And so, you know, once I started fine, I'm like, gosh, gosh darn it. You know, because I would think, oh, well, do I have any hearts? Oh, let me pick up a package. And so then you have so much stuff, you know. You know bunnies bunnies <laughs> and uh you know eggs i think i was gonna do something i think i was gonna make i have so many eggs because i was going to make some honey uh bee beehives out of them uh i had seen someone had shared that and so carrots and then these are just christmas trees uh, that probably should go over here in my last part of the the season of year Anyway, so that's how I how I store my little ornaments. And is my storage uh, perfect? Is it, it? I just do it to inspire or just to give people different ideas. Um, I get you know ideas from other people as well. You know, and I welcome anyone can you know uh, leave a comment to say what works for them. Uh, I think when I posted my ribbon, I warned y'all. I warned y'all that I had a lot of ribbon, and y'all didn't believe me. Some of y'all didn't believe me. Some of y'all who know me did. Some of y'all did believe me. But when I had shared a few a few days ago, maybe last week, my ribbon, and that's not even all of it, but I am bound and determined to use what I have. Pinky promise. <laughs> I'm not going to say that I'm not going to buy anymore. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to say that, but I am going to try to use what I have or use up some that I have. Uh, anyway, so, and then over at Walmart, I just got some glue sticks uh, for my glue guns. Anyway, look at these beautiful flowers, guys. I, you know, love or hate Walmart. Everybody has their own uh, it's the own prerogative, but you cannot beat these these bouquets. They were five eighty seven. This is called a mixed sunflower bouquet, and look at these beautiful colors in there. And it has these little flowers and you know like baby's breath and berries. These are just so pretty, and I got um, some of these because I like to decorate with these in my. Um, I have one of those big crocs on my porch, on my front porch, and so I like to stick the, those florals in there once I get some pumpkins and stuff. And uh, anyway, this bushel was also five eighty seven, and it's called a mixed mum bouquet. And this has all different colors of leaves, and it has sunflowers and these kind of flowers and mums and pine cone. Uh, it even has a corn corn husk in it. Like, you know, I guess these are supposed to mimic wheat, I guess. Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, and so then here's a different one. This has some, some feathers and it has... Uh, Walmart's not paying me. <laughs> I just share what i mean you know what what i find what works for me um this one is called berries and leaves bouquet and uh anyway it has some berries and leaves and and all that kind of stuff so i got two let's see oh this one's different 
Okay, this one has a pumpkin, little pumpkin. This is a cattail and maple leaf bush. It has a pine cone and some berries and some cattails and these green grasses that are really, you know, all of these different leaves and, and different, it kind of adds so much dimension to it. Dimension and just cuteness, just cuteness. All right. Then I picked up some of this, some of this. One fell on the floor, so pardon me while I pick it up. Some of this. Now, tell me, who has a cricket? Who has a cricket? Because I am going to be partnering with Cricket. I'm so excited. They, I'm gonna be, uh, doing some more videos guys if you have been with me for any length of time uh my when i first started my youtube channel it was a it was doing cricket um uh yes carol says the walmart flowers are gorgeous i'm so sorry your walmart doesn't have anything like that but keep watching keep watching anyway back to the cricket cricket i'm gonna be partnering with them and um doing some cricket videos oh my goodness i'm so excited um uh, sorry i'm squ like squirrel uh <clears throat> see that's why i can't read the comments because i get off track uh anyway so right before i retire was you know was going to retire from a day job i had got uh an email from someone at cricket and they had asked if i wanted to you know partner with them and work with them guys this is a dream come true i have been a cricket user since 2009 when I bought my first, very, very first Cricut, it was a Cricut Expression. Now that was the machine that you had to uh, put the cartridges in. Now everything is digital, everything is online. They have so many different, um, you know, just so many different things. And so I picked up this, they sent me a bunch of stuff. I need to go through it and actually see everything that I have. Yes, Gina, that is, it is a dream job. I'm serious. I mean, I am just like, <clears throat> excuse me, blown away because <clears throat> I promise I can drink. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, blown away because it's like God is just opening all of these doors. I say that humbly. I do not say that to be bragging. I do not say that to be boastful. Um, it's just that when you put everything in God's hands, you eventually see God's hands in everything. And there's just been so many different things that have happened, you know, in our life. Um, and so that's what I want to encourage you that even though, you know, the everything that we see what's going on in our world, do not lose hope. Do not lose, um, you know, if, if you're struggling with something, you know, lean on him. He's the one that can help you um, through all of this stuff. And, um, you know, just recently uh, was it yesterday that i saw one of our uh, we lost another crafting sister uh, uh simply create with lori lori bell or something like that and forgive me that if i'm not saying her name correctly but i'm just so broken hearted because she was she would comment on my 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 pictures or videos and she oh i followed her page uh simply create with lori i think is her name Anyway, she passed away suddenly um, on over the weekend. And so, you know, it hits so close to home when we lose people, you know, in our life. And so um, I don't want to sit here and, and share all of this stuff with you or share my good fortune. I don't I don't want to appear boastful. I do not. Um, I am just so appreciative that the Lord allows me to to do this. This is my job now. I'm working to build His kingdom um, uh, in the in the respect that um, I want to be a place where if you're struggling, if people are having a hard time, that um, you know to know 
I'm not going to be silent. I love the Lord. You know, he is the one who has given me all of this stuff. He's given me these gifts and talents. He's given me this platform to share it with you. And uh, we don't need to be silent anymore. We need to speak up and say how good God is. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're watching on the replay, if you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube, I'm so grateful that you are here. I'll go back later and answer any questions that I may have. Uh, I have, um, but you can always contact me. Oh, guys, if you want to get on my text messaging list, my communities, text um, right here, 979-316-7944. Uh, um, you can, you know, if you just want Facebook, say Facebook. If you just want YouTube, just YouTube. Or if you want both, I will add you to both of my list. All right. Thank you so much for being here, y'all. Have a great day. God bless.